that could be one. So, if you're new here, my name's Alexander, and this is our Green Agenda. And today, we are getting to three new workmates. So if you click the top right, if you're new here, click the top right of the screen, and you'll see kind of, it's quite graphic, if you know what I mean, but basically, when you, have, when you get chickens, as you may know, or new birds, you separate them for a month, and then you integrate them slowly. But these guys could see each other through the pallets, pallet slats. So they're over there, if you can see. And these guys, the, basically the brown chickens and John were over in that side, whereas the black chickens and the ducks and Alfonso were on this side. So, they're gonna get this, basically, yeah. So I, in, I merged them together, and as cockles do, they fought. And so watch the video, and you can find that out. So. Basically right now, I'm just gonna make this place a bit more kind of cozy for them. So if you have a look here, this is my old chest of drawers. I've mentioned it many times over the next nest box, but I'm gonna turn this one into a nest box one day, but not today. Most probably later on today I could do so, but what I'm doing now, I and, and I forgot to mention is that I'm using paper, shredded paper for the bedding for, the, cause it's, it's got a higher carbon content and it's free. And raise this up is that you have to pay for the hay basically, but the paper's free. And with all these birds sleeping in that one coop there, there's a lot of poo and a lot of nitrogen and a lot of stink when it's when it's hot when it's hot sorry when it's wet so and sadly Alfonso used to sleep in this one which hopefully John won't do so and they can all sleep in a basically I need to block them off at night time but let me just show you quickly but they're slowly getting to closer to each other which is good you know you know it's just one of those things that happened when these guys first met the, the black chickens they kind of the ducks sorry they kind of they fought for a bit but these guys are having a good old bath they didn't have a bath on the other side, so they're making the most of it. So, you guys, I haven't got a bath in my ass. <laughs> I haven't had a bath this year. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Anyways, so Alfonso used to sleep in there, as you can see. So, what I'm going to do now is top this up with some hay. So, potentially, because someone's laid an egg in here, I don't know who did, but it's definitely one of the old, the, the brown, black chickens. So, what I'm going to do is get some hay on top of here and just cover that up. So it kind of just works together and dries it out. So then, fingers crossed, some of the birds can lay their eggs in here because for every five chickens, you need a, a nest box. So I have, I can't even count, I've got 12 hens, 12 laying hens. So technically I need, I need two, yeah, I need, two, well, three basically. So basically I've got one here, one here if no one sleeps in it, and I've got two over there. But I might move one of them out because it's gonna, and they're gonna need room to kind of sleep because basically I've given myself two weeks to build a new coop because I want my coop to be able to house maybe, maybe 30 birds or something in this area. I think 30, 30 birds to 20 to 30 birds is gonna be substantial. But yeah, you can see John giving it all that, trying to get the girls on his side and stuff. So I think they'll get it. It'll just take them time, innit? Ta da! So look at that. So there's one nest box in here. Oh yeah, if you were, I forgot to mention that I put a basket here because they kept laying in this corner and it was a pain in the ass to keep reaching and could get it because I've designed this coop badly. Well, I designed it in the way that I do hope that nothing bad would happen inside or not bad, but just annoying as in they would lay it outside of the nest box. So that's why I put this basket here. So I can just, I can reach that and lay an egg, but because I put this one in and it toppled over, they ended up laying in there, if you can see the egg. And so yeah, so that's why. But this this paper is really good. It does clump together as I've noticed. But the smell right now, like I can't smell it anything. Pardon me. But yeah, so it, it absorbs a lot, and yeah, it's just it's got a higher carbon, it's got a higher basically it's got a higher surface area because it's shredded up paper and it's carbon and it soaks up all the stuff. So it's a win-win. So I think I'm gonna leave them with this pile of hay because John and the girls are having fun. It's good to bond over this anyway, but the, yeah, the other one's over here. So it's, it's gonna be a funny day to, to get over this, well, to get over um, Alfonso and stuff, but they're getting there, slowly but surely. But anyway, let's go move over to that area over there and put some of this bedding down. You can have a good old scrub. Make sure you do your belly button, love. The coop's filled with old paper. That's up there. I don't know why I took this out. This is an old cool box I found. Someone was giving it away. So I filled it with sand. So if it's enough shelter for them to kind of go in there and have a nice dust bath and get their daily grit and stuff like that. Mix with a bit of potash so it gets some nice potassium and phosphorus and all the kind of, so that derma, was it derma something soil? I can't remember, but it's good for the skin. So if they can jump in there. And yes, let's fill this up. All done. So we've got the sand pit, we've got a little paddling pool, 
There's more water over here. Fresh bedding. We're good to go. Me and CDB, that's just CDB, he's got a little head cold. Poor guy, he's going around. But we have the Drake in here. But have a look. We've got two little white chickens. But they're like Loman hybrids. So he's not sure if they're girls or boys, but he said we can change it for me. But I was kind of hoping they were. I, didn't, I wish he didn't say that as I got there. Because I was just a bit like, oh, okay. But it's fine though. Not end of the world. So he's happy to change them. It's all good. And everyone's still alive over there. So it's all good. It seems like they're bonding a bit more, which is great. I don't want to see any convicts. So should we get the Drake, the duck out, Cedar? Come on then, let's get the duck out. <laughs> what do you think, Cedar? He's a big bird, isn't he? And look, all the other girls, the other girl ducks have come over to say hello. And they're doing this, some crazy song and dance, Cedar. So there you have it, guys. We have Desmond. And two white chicks. They sound really sweet. They still sound like chicks. They're getting there though. Pardon me. They haven't touched their food. But now he's kind of cleaned up. It's quite sweet because the, the, the muscovy girls are kind of all over him. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's a big boy. But they obviously know they've got some... <laughs> they've got some... A nice handsome chap around. So they're just kind of lingering around. But hopefully... I'm, I'm, I'm in an hour whether to kind of keep them together. Or keep the ducks and chickens together. I don't know. I'm just scared the same thing might happen to me, but he's a lot bigger than Alfonso. But again, it just, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. <laughs> but, but uh, what a day it's been. But, um, but yeah. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because then I'll explain more about this kind of the chicken area and what I'm going to do with it and stuff like that. So, peace and hugs, people. Lovely long time. And remember, it's not just my agenda, it's yours too.